Howdy, howdy, all you beer lovers, and welcome to another edition of McCall's Flask. And as you can tell, I'm out in my cigar garden today, and we're smoking a Quandrum. Uh, very nice. Uh, on the lighter side, uh, not overly spicy, uh, easy smoking, uh, affordable, and uh, it's kind of a nice uh, all-around if you're uh, mowing the lawn, that kind of thing, sitting back enjoying a nice beverage. And uh, welcome to my uh, YouTube channel. And if you're a new subscriber, and I want to appreciate uh, all the new subscribers that I just recently uh, have added to the channel, uh, welcome. And what you'll find here that I like to do uh, um, various beer reviews. I live in uh, northern Michigan. Uh, Michigan has uh, just shy of uh, 400 breweries up here in the uh, northwest corner up in Traverse City, Michigan. Um, we got some fantastic uh, brewers, fantastic breweries, and uh, I make it around and try to uh, make sure that I uh, stay up and taste those beers, and I want to bring them to you so you uh, know what's going on in our area and the passion that uh, everyone brings uh, to that new thing. So I'm glad to see some new... Uh, New subscribers, um, I hope you like your content. Um, do look around. Uh, the community part part of my uh, YouTube channel, I do post uh, various beers that I'm doing, things of that sort, um, so you can stay up to date. Uh, as a beer lover, um, my my past uh, for the new subscribers, actually I was an assistant brewer at North Peak Brewing Company in Traverse City, Michigan. That was uh, 26 years ago. And I uh, really enjoyed the craft beers, and I really enjoy good beers from around the world. And uh, every once in a while, uh, I'll make it downstate or upstate, or a friend of mine will uh, stop by a place and uh, pick up some, some beers, and uh, we'll uh, bring them back, taste them, see what they're like. So uh, today, um, an international beer, a beer from Mexico, um, Modelo just recently became the number one selling beer uh, here in the United States. And uh, we did a review on that one uh, three weeks ago. So I decided that it's time to do their, their darker cousin, Modelo Norego. Or, sorry about that. Norego. Am I going to crucify it again? I am so sorry. And uh, this is their darker cousin. This has been brewed in uh, Mexico for since 1925. Uh, Austrian immigrants. Uh, first brewed this, and it's brewed uh, twice as long than a, a typical uh, beer, and uh, it's a considered a, uh, a, a Duncan style, uh, so it's a Munich Duncan style, uh, so I mean it's a little darker, it's, a, it's still lagered, uh, a little higher percent than the uh, Merdello. And the normal Bedello, uh, this one is a 5.4, and the other one, the normal, is 4.4. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, it says it's only got 172 calories in it. And it's uh, one of those beers that uh, I really enjoy. I've been drinking this one for a long time. So take one last puff on the cigar before we get into the review. All right. So here's the, here's the bottle. Really, really nice. Got a nice little logo, easy to find. It's got the, uh, you know, this uh, gold uh, foil around it. And uh, so it makes it something a little special. All right. So we're going to pop this top, see what we've got. All righty. Let's uh, pour her in. Nice, beautiful Euro European style uh, pint glass today. As we're pouring it, uh, really nice bubbles coming out, uh, a good chocolate, not a thick chocolate, but being a lager, it's had a chance to, uh, you know, thin out a little bit, you know, as in, you know, not a lot of stuff in it, it's clear. So, th look at that. Dunkel style, we can see it, you can see the snowflakes from the bottom uh, going up to the top. It's a nice uh, head. It's not creamy. It's got a little bit of a, a brown tint to it. Pour the rest in there. And uh, looks fantastic. Great looking beer. So I hope you've been to your uh, beer fridge. You know, I really don't like drinking alone out here. So, uh, you know, let's, uh, hopefully you've had a beer. All right. So here's to you. Cheers. Let's see what she smells like. Take it to her nose. 
So, I'm getting the malt. It's highly malted. I'm also getting a slight caramelization, a little bit of a little baby caramel there. All right, let's take it to our lips and see what we get. So we're uh, loving it. Nice caramel caramelization, nice maltiness. Um, being a dunkel style, it is not like a stout. It's not meant to be a stout. It's lagered. Um, it's had a chance to really allow itself to sit and, and to concentrate the flavors. Um, really nice. Um, easy drinking. You know, it's not a light beer. 5%, 5.4% in alcohol. Yep, I really like that. Um, enjoy drinking that uh, with friends. Great party beer. Um, pretty much available anywhere here in the United States. Um, and is enjoyed by uh, quite a few people. Um, it's nice to see uh, an insurgent of uh, this beer uh, across the United States uh, doing very well. People have uh, probably never have tried it. Uh, you're now getting a chance to try it. And it's one of those things that uh, it's not uh, overly expensive. It's uh, still a uh, reasonably priced. Um, so uh, this summer, when you're out in your own beer garden or mowing the lawn or having a nice uh, barbecue, um, I definitely recommend this. And uh, here's to it. Thank you guys for making a phenomenal beer. If you're going to have a beer, make sure you're going to have a good one. Cheers. Cheers.